The major difference between Titania school and Stanis Steer school is the Stanis Steer school has more flexibility. So when you insert the titanium screw, make sure, number one, you need to engage at least two millimeter screw tip into the bone before you can change the direction. Number two, when you change the direction, you need change slowly. Let me show you step by step how I put this IGC screw. First, you use cotton roll to clean the surface. And then you use Explore to make an indentation, which is a physical rehearsal where you want to put a screw. And you follow that indentation you engage at least two millimeter and then you gradually change the direction gradually change the direction and that will prevent tip fracture watch carefully the pace of the screw insertion and we're done. Let me show you step by step how I put IZC screw. First, you use cotton to clean the surface. And then, you use Explore to make an indentation, which is a physical rehearsal where you want to put a screw. Then, follow the indentation and you need at least engage the ball two millimeter before you can turn the screw in the upright position. Sometimes if the bone is too hard, you can back up a little bit and then change the direction and keep screwing. So that's how we change the direction without fracture the screw. And watch the pace of how I put a screw. It is important to keep the pace relatively slow. Every screw that I put in, I would routinely check the top. In this case, the insertion top is around 8 Newton centimeter. Let me change the direction because the insertion torque is only 8 Newton centimeter. I would like to find a spot which is over 12. After you remove the screw, I routinely will use alcohol gauge to clean the surface before I re reinsert it. Let me show you how I put IZC screw without fracture the screw. First, I will use cotton roll to clean the surface, and I use Explore to find a spot and make an indentation, which is a physical rehearsal where I want to put a screw. So I follow that indentation. I engage the bone at least two millimeter before I change the direction. When I change the direction, I would like to change the direction in a very slow pace. So I gradually change the direction and keep scooting. If you follow this tip, you will be safe. 
to keep this school intact. Now you're ready to hook up your rubber band, which will produce roughly four to six ounces per side. 